if you ask anybody in the track community who their favorite sprinter is, they'll probably tell you somebody like Noah Lyles, or if you're a throwback, say Flojo or Shakari Richardson, or of course, Usain Bolt, right? But me, I'm a little different. My GOAT is somebody who I feel like doesn't get talked about enough. And I feel the big reason is like he's kind of like overshadowed by Noah Lyles because a lot of the time they compete head to head all the time. And, you know, Noah is like a lot more flamboyant and look at me, look at me type of guy. So it's understandable kind of like why my GOAT doesn't necessarily stand out. But he has his own charm to him. And I feel like more people need to talk about him. My favorite sprinter of all time is Kung Fu Kenny, Kenny Benary. If y'all don't know, bro, Kenny is really tough. He's always posted impressive times, and his ability to perform under pressure is a testament to his talent and hard work. And one of his most notable achievements came at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, where he won silver in the 200 with the time of 1968. This performance was a clear indication of his prowess and potential. Yet despite this and a bunch of other accomplishments, he doesn't really get the same attention as someone like Christian Coleman or Noah Lyles. This underappreciation is one of the main reasons that I admire him so much, though. Kenny reminds me of someone like Tim Duncan or Jokic, who's just, like, there to get the job done and aren't there to, like, make a show, basically. And this is a reminder that true greatness doesn't always have to come with fanfare, and letting their craft do the talking for them is really, like, what he's good at. Kenny's rivalry with Noah Lyles is one of the most exciting narratives in track and field today. They're polar opposite personalities between Lyles, who is extremely open with his feelings and charismatic, really like clashes with Benaric, who's more like reserved and calm and collected. And this reminds me of a lot of the Bolt and Tyson Gay rivalry. However, Benaric has consistently proven that he can compete with and sometimes even surpass Lyles. At the 2021 U.S. Olympic Trials, Benaric clocked a personal best of 1978 in the 200 meters, finished in second to Lyles by a mere 0 .05 seconds. Fast forward three years later, and it's the same situation. Kenny finished second in the 200 Olympic trials final with the time of 1974, coming only second to, of course, Noah Lyles, who ran 1953. One of the most distinctive aspects of Kung Fu Kenny is his calm and cool demeanor. On the track, he shows a sense of peace and focus that is rare among elite athletes. This demeanor combined with his signature headbands makes him seem like a wise martial artist or like somebody's sensei, which I'm pretty sure is where he gets his nickname from. This has made him a unique and relatable figure in the world of athletics. His headbands, in particular, have become a symbol of his identity. They represent his individuality and his laid-back, yet fiercely competitive spirit. In fact, he's the main reason that I even started wearing headbands in track. And y'all can call it glazing or what you want, I don't care. Kenny symbolizes that you can be great at something and inspire people without necessarily being the greatest to ever do it. And while he may not always be the headline act, his story and achievements are profoundly impactful. Kenny's journey is a testament to the idea that greatness comes in many forms. It's not always just about breaking records or winning the most medals. It's about the journey, the perseverance, and the ability to inspire others. Kenny's humility, work ethic, and quiet confidence are qualities that resonate with many aspiring athletes, including myself. He shows that it's possible to be a role model and an inspiration without constantly being in the spotlight or number one all the time. His journey is a reminder that true success is more than just accolades. It's about the impact that you have on others and the legacy that you leave behind.